Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Majesty the King's personal representative, Chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Air Show 2022, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, following the outstanding success of the sixth edition of Bahrain International Air Show and the air show's 10th anniversary. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah asserted that His Majesty the King's supportive directives and follow-up have led to the success of such an international aviation event, noting that the massive international participation and the Kingdom's distinguished organization have also contributed to the success of the prestigious air show, which further proved the Kingdom's capabilities to host mega international events thanks to its national competencies. His Highness indicated that the continuous success of the air show has earned the Kingdom international acclaim, which will achieve the Kingdom's plans to increase investments in the exhibitions industry and aviation field to support the national economy. His Highness pledged to continue bringing about more achievements to support the Kingdom's comprehensive development process, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with abundant health, happiness and long life. And His Majesty sent a reply cable of thanks to His Highness Sheikh Abdullah in which he commended the tremendous efforts exerted by the International Bahrain Air Show Supreme Organizing Committee under His Highness's chairmanship to ensure the outstanding success of this year's edition enabling Bahrain International Air Show to maintain its distinguished status on the map of international aviation shows. Wishing everyone continued success in future editions. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the success of the sixth edition of the Bahrain International Air Show, held under His Majesty's patronage. The BDF Commander-in-Chief asserted that the air show success confirms Bahrain's distinguished status on the world map of international air shows, adding to the wide-ranging achievements attained by the Kingdom thanks to His Majesty the King's wise vision. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty Majesty the King, so as to continue bringing about more achievements to the Kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the success of the Joint Bahraini Emirati Counterterrorism Exercise Jalmud 3. The BDF Commander in Chief commended the success of those in charge of the exercise, including it with professionalism and realism, which reflected the competence of the participants from Bahrain's BDF, security authorities, and their brethren from the UAE Armed Forces. He added that it will contribute to preparing a high prepared force that is capable of facing various challenges and threats to defend the nation thanks to the unwavering support and enlightened vision of His Majesty the King. The Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Air Show, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, following the success of the show's sixth edition, held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa at Al Sakhir Air Base. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad stated that the Bahrain International Air Show embodies the vision of His Majesty the King and continues to receive the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which has contributed to the Kingdom's achievements. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah noted the role of Bahrain's citizens in ensuring the successful organization of the air show. He affirmed that the Bahrain International Air Show continues to earn the Kingdom wide-ranging acclaim and appreciation at all levels. He wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister continued success under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness sent a cable of thanks to His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad, commending the efforts of the Bahrain International Air Show Supreme Organizing Committee, led by His Highness, to ensure the distinguished preparation and success of the sixth edition of the Bahrain International Air Show, allowing it to maintain its status as a major event on the map of international aviation shows, and wished His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad continued success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa following the success of the sixth edition of the Bahrain International Air Show, held under the patronage of His Majesty the King at Al Sakhir Air Base and in the presence of senior officials from various countries. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed noted 
that the success of the Bahrain International Air Show is the result of the unwavering support and directives of His Majesty the King, and that it confirmed Bahrain's distinguished capabilities to organize international exhibitions and air shows. He affirmed that the success of the sixth edition of the Bahrain International Air Show adds to the Kingdom's achievements thanks to the leadership and visions of His Majesty the King. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince continued success. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the success of the joint Bahraini Emirati counterterrorism exercise Jalmud III. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa commended the participants from Bahrain's various BDF units and security authorities, as well as the UAE Armed Forces for their competence and advanced level throughout all the phases of the joint drill. He noted that the simulation drills would increase the resilience of Bahrain's armed forces to defend the country under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and chairman of the High Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Air Show, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa stressed Bahrain's investment attractiveness that enhances its economic position. He noted that the kingdom continues to enhance its competitiveness in the aviation industry in line with the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad commended the success of the Bahrain International Air Show 2022, which marks the 10th anniversary of the show. He praised the large participation in the event, which was held under the patronage of His Majesty the King. He noted the promising opportunities provided for the investors, highlighting the conclusion of several deals and contracts between regional and international parties worth $1.8 billion. His Highness extended thanks and appreciation to all the participants, sponsors, officials and organizers of the exhibition, who highlighted Bahrain's modern aspect and its ability to host various events. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, cast his vote for the parliamentary and municipal elections from the polling centre at Bahrain International Circuit. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that Bahrain's unique democratic experience at the global level is progressing steadily, which is led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who made Bahrain at the level of top countries in the democratic field. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the wide participation in the elections, which proves their awareness of the importance of the elections to choose the best representative, who helps in enacting legislation and laws that ensure the progress of the development process in the kingdom. His Highness expressed appreciation for the efforts exerted by the government authorities and the supervisory committee to ensure the success of the electoral process. In the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the President of the Royal Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, crowned the winner of the 120 kilometer International Race Cup. Rider Asim Abdul Wahid from Az Zaim in the second race of the new season 2022 2023. It was organized by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, brief with the wide participation of riders and stables in the Bahrain International Endurance Village. His Highness Sheikh Nasser followed up all stages of the race as he was keen to guide and support the riders. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the strong competition in the races organized by the Royal Federation underlines the progress of endurance sport in the kingdom and the preparation of the stables to participate in the local competitions, which are witnessing continuous development. His Highness said the 120-kilometer race witnessed excitement in all the stages, which confirms the progress of the riders in the teams and stables, indicating that the efforts of the riders are clear in dealing with the specified speeds and keenness to finish the race in the best possible way. His Highness said that the beginning of the current season is more exciting and friendly in racing, which affirms a continued development in the sport of endurance. His Highness congratulated the winning riders, praising the ideal organization of the Royal Federation. The rider Asim Abdul Wahid from the Az team won the first place. Rider Sultan Abdul Aziz Al Rumehi from the same team came in second, and rider Nasser Hamad Al Qahtani from the KHK team came third. The victorious team with riders Uthman Al Awadi, Shahad Al Ahmed, and Muhammad Wael are leading the 100-kilometer race.
In the presence of the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the third race of the season on the club's racetrack in Al Rafa area in Sakhir. The race consisted of eight events, which was held for the Bahrain Petroleum Company Babco Cup and the Bahrain Olympic Committee Cup. Trophies were presented to the winners of the race. Bahraini citizens continue to flock to the polling stations for the 2022 parliamentary and municipal elections from various governorates of the kingdom to perform their patriotic duty in the electoral process. Polling stations witnessed a large turnout of voters to cast their ballots in the parliamentary and municipal elections, which commenced at 8 a.m. and will continue until 8 p.m. tonight. The high turnout at the polling station reflects the political awareness of Bahraini citizens on the importance of elections to choose their representatives in the Council of Representatives and the Municipal Councils. The Council of Representatives Speaker Fawzia bin Abdullah Zainal praised citizens' active participation in the parliamentary and municipal elections, describing it as a vivid proof of Bahrain's progressing democratic march under the reform project of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Casting her ballot at one of the polling stations, Zainal commended the massive turnout of Bahraini voters since the early hours of the day, which reflects full awareness of their political rights and national responsibilities to choose their representatives from the Council of Representatives and Municipal Councils. The Shura Council Chairman, Mr. Ali Saleh Saleh, stressed that the wide participation of citizens in the municipal and parliamentary elections 2022 reflects the national awareness and responsibility exercise for the political rights, the consolidation of democratic principles and the active participation in the sustainability of the march of development and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Shura Council Chairman noted that the positive contribution of the citizens is to the success of the electoral process and is considered supporting and backing for the reform project of His Majesty the King. He added that the parliamentary and municipal elections are an important phase in reviving the democratic process and continuing to develop the legislation and the laws. And His Majesty the King's Special Representative, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, cast his ballot in the parliamentary elections at the capital governorate's seventh constituency. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak commended the tremendous efforts exerted by all the authorities in charge of the elections to ensure the success of the electoral process. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, cast his ballot in the parliamentary and municipal elections at the general polling station at the Bahrain International Circuit. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah said that the high turnout of voters since the beginning of the electoral process earlier today is a proof of the citizens' awareness of the importance of popular participation in public affairs, which is a principle consolidated thanks to the democratic process launched by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister asserted that holding the elections according to the constitutional schedule is a historic day. That adds to the success of the democratic process of the Kingdom, noting that the elections will increase the national accomplishments in light of the keenness of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to enhance cooperation and consensus with the legislative branch. 
to bring out more progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. The Deputy Prime Minister congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, as well as to the Bahraini people on the occasion. He asserted that there is no loser in today's election as everyone is a winner because all Bahraini candidates and voters are contributing to bringing about a new Bahraini success story whose results are awaited by everyone. He also lauded the prevailing transparent atmosphere aimed at enabling voters to exercise their political rights and national role in development, extending thanks and appreciation to the judicial branch and the national competencies for managing the electoral process with impartiality, transparency and independence. After casting his vote in the 2022 parliamentary and municipal elections, the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa said in an exclusive statement to Bahrain Television that the wide participation in the elections today is the most telling answer to the attempts to compromise the successful democratic process in the kingdom. He congratulated His Majesty the King on the success. <laughs> ولله الحمد تم التعامل معها فورا واللي نشوف اليوم من تواجد وحضور هو خير جواب على هذه المحاولات الياس ولكن يعني في ظل هالحضور اسمحوا لي اني انا يعني انت هذه فرصه اني انا ابارك لسيدي حضره صاحب الجلال هذا النجاح وهذا الحضور والمشاركه الوطنيه اللافته اللي تعودناها من المواطنين وشكرا لحضوركم معنا Ministers participated in the parliamentary and municipal elections. They voted to choose their representatives in the representatives and municipal councils as part of their national duty to build on the gains of the comprehensive development process the country is witnessing, which is one of the most important pillars during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. And now we turn to our correspondent on the ground, Mohamed Youssef, who is at the first electoral constituency at Psetin Intermediate School in the Muharraq Governorate. Hello, Mohamed. Mohamed, uh, what can you tell us about the atmosphere at the elections? Well, Salman, the doors have opened today at 8 a.m. in the morning, and people have been lining up ever since the opening. And they've been coming in large number of groups, and it's beautiful to see that families have been bringing their children, which, which I think is important, to instill these values in the mind of young gener generations in order for them to, to raise the awareness for the kids, for the importance of the democratic approach of, that is adopted by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The atmosphere here is very welcoming and inviting, and the process only takes five minutes to cast your vote. The judge and the organizers are on standby to assess anyone in need. Mohammed, uh, today is of course the elections, and hopefully there's not going to be a, uh, a round two. What is the atmosphere uh, f which you witnessed on the ground in terms of the people who came to the polling stations uh, as they voted and, and exited? We know that also abroad there was a polling that took place on the 8th of November. Did you sense anyth anything on the ground? Uh, yes, Samar. The elections abroad started a few days ago on the 8th of November and people who are living or visiting uh, abroad, uh, they were able to cast their votes and perform their democratic right to cast their votes and select their candidates, which is uh, only uh, affirms the importance of this uh, democratic process. and. Um, uh, the executive director of the elections, of the parliamentary and municipal elections, affirmed that the figures of this year exceeded those, the ones in 2018, in terms of electing abroad. And that's all I have for you right now, Samar. Thank and you, Mohammed. Back to you. And do keep us posted. Thanks a lot. In the midst of this national event, Bahraini women were not absent from participating in the electoral process, as polling centers witnessed a large presence of women who attended to vote with the rest of the citizens side by side, stressing the importance of their presence. The observer of the democratic process in Bahrain finds that women have an important and vital role in all fields and that they are an inherent part in every development witnessed by the kingdom. Therefore, their role in shaping the features of any stage for the future is a vital one. 
the participation of women in the parliamentary and municipal elections, whether as candidates or voters, is a cornerstone of the democratic process and even their keenness on this participation confirms the awareness reached by Bahraini women of the right to vote and to run for office. Women in Bahrain have gained the right to vote and their role has emerged in the parliamentary elections and this confirms the kingdom's support of the role of women in Bahrain at all levels. Today, during this national event, Bahraini women are present at the polling centers, giving their voice to the most qualified for the sake of the country and for the sake of the nation's glory. Bahraini youth were keen on participating in the parliamentary and the municipal elections through the nomination and voting to make this national event a success. The Kingdom of Bahrain witnessed a wide turnout by the youth in their effort to make the 2022 parliamentary and municipal elections a success and complete the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as their participation is a main element in the progress of the development process. This positive participation represents the solid base for the interaction of Bahraini youth with the developments of the political process and the desire of all groups to participate in decision-making as the constitution of the Kingdom of Bahrain guarantees equal opportunities for all within clear and specific legal conditions. The wide participation of the youth reflects the civilized and honorable image of citizens and their keenness on maintaining national gains and building on the successes achieved. Keen to exercise their national duty of voting in the parliamentary and the municipal elections, elderly citizens and people with disabilities also headed to the polling stations to cast their ballots and choose their representatives. The keenness of elderly citizens and people with disabilities to participate in the 2022 parliamentary and municipal elections to cast their votes in the polling centers across the four governorates through the initiative of the elections organizers to help them and guide them through the voting mechanism. Their participation in the elections and the massive turnout of voters of different ages have drawn a beautiful image of the democratic joy in Bahrain and reflects the extent to which the democratic culture is entrenched in Bahraini society. The citizens' patriotic sense expressed deep loyalty and belonging to the nation and set an example for all generations in the love of the homeland and keenness to actively participate in exercising the constitutional rights in all national entitlements. The Higher Committee to oversee the integrity of the elections provided all facilities to support the participation of elderly citizens and people with disabilities to help them to exercise their constitutional right. The Higher Committee to oversee the integrity of the elections in cooperation with the Ministry of Health allocated the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center as a polling center for COVID-19 patients, which affirms Bahrain's keenness to provide the necessary procedures that enable all eligible voters to exercise their constitutional rights and participate in the parliamentary and municipal elections within the comprehensive democratic and development process led by His Majesty the King. All precautionary measures had been taken in place to ensure the safety of all those present at the center through the provision of a highly equipped clinic with qualified medical personnel. Polling centers for the parliamentary and municipal elections opened their doors early the morning at 8 a.m. to receive the voters from all the governorates of the kingdom. The heads of the polling centers inspected voting boxes before the beginning of the voting process in front of observers and the media to confirm that they are empty. The general and subsidiary polling centers in the various governorates of the kingdom witnessed a high turnout of voters to participate in the elections. Voters are choosing from among 507 candidates, 40 representatives for the Council of Representatives and 30 members for the municipal councils, while the total number of those entitled to vote is 344,713 voters. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments and Chairman of the Higher Committee to oversee the integrity of the elections, Mr. Nawaf bin Mohammed Al Maouda, supervised the process of delivering the ballot papers for the parliamentary and municipal elections to all polling stations in the kingdom under the protection of the Ministry of Interior. The minister urged voters to actively participate in the voting process, calling not to pay attention to any rumors that aim to influence the electoral process. For his part, the Chairman of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission and Executive Director of the Elections, Councillor Nawaf Abdullah Hamza, affirmed that the electoral bodies provided all the capabilities and guarantees to ensure the success of the electoral process under full judicial supervision. 